Hey, Wrightsville. Donna Pinckney here again, bringing this evening's devotion from Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. Tonight's title is God isn't an editor. He's a creator. He's not looking for typos in our lives. He's looking for the beauty in them. Our scripture is Hebrews 8, 12. I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. Bob writes, I didn't set out to be an author. I wanted to build a school in Africa for child soldiers. If I wanted to bake cupcakes to sell, people would die. I'll stick with schools and words. A friend of mine encouraged me to write a book, so I did. I figured if there were a couple of typos, no big deal. We sold way over a million of them and I gave all the money away, so I wrote another book. I learned that I'm much better at living stories than making sure all the punctuation is correct, so I have a few people in my life who love that sort of thing and they helped me out. One of them is John, who's married to my daughter, Lindsay. John is an engineer, but that also means he's really good with details and he really likes grammar. I still don't understand why, but I'm thankful nonetheless. John would read my words and graciously fix all the errors I made. He didn't point out each one and shake his head in disapproval. He just took what I wrote and made it better. I used to think that God was like an editor trying to find all the typos in my life, standing over my shoulder like a school marm ready to whack my knuckles when I made a mistake. But I've learned that God isn't an editor. He's a creator. He's not giving us the hairy eyeball when we make mistakes. He's pointing toward the horizon with a gleam in his eye, and he's asking us to lift our eyes up toward a better story. He wants to tell a story of redemption. Of everyone he could use to tell it, he's made you one of the main characters. He wants you to keep your eyes on him. If there's a typo or two on a couple of pages of your life, don't obsess over it. Keep writing. God's got this. He'll help you make the changes you need to make, but his purpose for your life is so much bigger than giving you a failing grade. This question tonight for us is, what typo have you been obsessing over? Give that some thought, folks. What typo have you been obsessing over, and how could you hand that over? God's not looking for the typos. Hope you have a great evening. We sure miss being with you all at church. We're looking forward to the day we can do that again, and we hope it's really, really soon. But for now, have a good evening.